Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here. Currently I'm in Rio Grande, New Jersey, right outside Wildwood in Cape May, because there's finally an update on the movie slash bowling alley that's taking place here at the County Commons, or did I say that right? County Commons, yeah, it's going that way. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. If you enjoy our videos, please consider being a Patreon member. You get some really cool perks and your name at the end of the video. Click the link in the description for more details. So this brand new sign was just installed a few days ago. And you can see everything that's finally coming in here. Right at center, of course, is right here. Tractor supply, of course, a lot of things for the VA. But the important thing that we're looking at right here is Cape Square Theater Bowling Eats because they've been working like crazy these past few weeks to get it ready. Let's go check it out. Now, this is such a spontaneous video. I was just driving by and I saw it. And so they don't have much information for you except for what we put on the article a few months ago. Actually, a year and a half ago when it finally sold. It's been sitting here ever since. It's kind of like empty. I mean, with all theaters being closed, there was no reason to open it. But uh, let's drive over there. Now, lucky for us, all the way back in October of 2019, the company putting this together sent out a video. And some of this is already done, and we do plan on doing a finished video tour once it's completed 100%. But you can see these two are pretty much already built. They're already working on the Rena Center. That's kind of almost done. But as you turn over here, you can go ahead and see the full project. And they're going to flip the camera around to give you a view of the theater. Look how great it looks, right? Here is a little cubbyway, which we'll show you a little bit later. Back here is where the bar is going. This is where they're going to do the beer garden, the bowling, and a couple other things. Now, as we make our way to the other side of the building, this is going to be a two-phase shopping center. So this will be the entrance to either the other side of the bowling, so you can see the parking lot behind here. We do have some renderings of what it's going to look like. This is from like a drone shot, which I'm totally going to do for you guys eventually. This is looking over into Rena Center and the VA Clinic. The movie theater would be on the right. You notice there's a Tesla there? I don't know who's going there with a the Tesla. And then here's that little courtyard where the beer garden's going to be. So we're outside the Cape Square now, and uh, there's a lot of work going on. Here's Rena Center to the left. Here's the VA stuff. It starts here and goes all the way down here in this tractor supply. You can tell they're doing a lot of work in this parking lot to begin with, but the theater, to give you an idea of the scale of this, over there was the original second theater that we're gonna build. They were doing the whole entire front, here was theaters as well, and they're extending it back here, which from this section all the way over is where the bowling is going to be. And suppose that we're getting new theaters as well. Let's walk around. Here's the original Rena Center sign. I think that's gonna go right back probably over there. I don't really know because look at the other signs. They're all white, including the tractor supply one. I don't know if they're gonna make them get a new sign, but looks like this might go back up there. But over here, there's no sign on here yet. It looks like they might be going away with some of the old architecture of the building, which is kind of like a duet style kind of thing. You can see they're definitely finishing up this entire side, which has kind of been open for a while now. A recycling truck here, a new glass. A lot of work so far. A new overhang. There never used to be one here. It looks really wavy. That's kind of cool, right? See what I'm saying there? 
goes up and down. Inside, doesn't look like anything was touched between the front. I mean, the original neon is still up there as well. But we'll take a look on the other side for you guys. Let's look inside. Nope, has not been touched inside. Now this theater has been closed for two years now. So I'm interested to see what they're gonna do inside, what they're gonna do to the theaters. Or, I mean, this whole thing looks so cool, a courtyard over here. Let me flip the camera around for you. This cool little courtyard. I'm sure you can see all the way through. It looks like the bowling's gonna be here. A couple restaurants. Be really cool once it's done and i don't want to walk down there but they did a lot of work there's a gate over here i'm assuming that comes down and this could be the courtyard or something i really don't know here you can see a lot more work they're doing another canopy here they're covering this up and covering up these doors Let's see if we look inside yeah, no work inside yet I don't see a sign yet, but they have a lot of ways to go. It looks like this might be all brick. And the reason why I say that is because back here, they have all this brick going on, all stacked up. So I can only assume that they're gonna put this brick on the front, right? It's a pexiglass back here, it's a wood. Not much can be seen from the back of the theater. Just an emergency exit over here, another one there, another one there. Who knows how many theaters we're gonna have when this is all done. They also could be using those bricks for the islands. It is a lot of brick. But no, I'm very interested to see what this is gonna look like once it's done. Here's one more look for you guys. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm cold. I'm going back in my car. I'm Joey, and hopefully I'll see you guys on the beach. See ya.